everybody, welcome to this Titan fan review. Another view from Titan. Pretty much the same fan as the last one I got, 140 millimeter, but it's got a controller more appropriate for what I'm using it for. Something I'm really interested in actually is this um, shutoff timer. So you can set it for a couple hours and you know it's going to be off before midnight rolls around where it's uh, the temperatures get a lot colder. So um, before I go to bed I could set the t uh, timer to a couple hours, stay cool, and know I'm not going to wake up in the morning with it freezing cold in here because the fan stayed on all night. DIY aluminum fax silent cur silent cookery fan K U K R I I P five five waterproof T T C S C twenty series auto temperature control. So there's also a temperature control in here. So I'll have to play around with that. So I got different models. I got the fourteen centimeter, which fits best in the slot windows. I got a 12 centimeter and a 9 centimeter fan. I'll put a link below for their Amazon page as well as a link to their main website where they have a lot more information on these as well as uh, a lot of other RV products. The last one I got was for keeping your condenser coils cool on your fridge. Helps it be a little more efficient if you get the heat out of there. Um, but I still used it in the window to keep me cool, which worked out great. But this uh, little controller with it is a bit of an upgrade. I'm excited to try it out. and. See how well it keeps me cool this summer. Alright, let's open it up. The links to the Amazon page are below if I haven't mentioned that already. It is an associate link, so if you so if you use it, it helps out the channel. For auto, manual, your timer, power, and uh, up and down for your settings. A splitter to go both to both fans. these is the fact that they are blowing in or that I can set them up to blow in and keep me cool instead of the fantastic fan which sucks out and it pulls out some real nasty toilet smells when it's running so um, I like these they blow air in and if anything they're gonna push the smells out of the RV looks like the uh, looks like they switched out these are aren't aluminum anymore last track fan these two middle pieces were aluminum which I'd prefer aluminum is a little more looks more stylish but that uh... yeah these are aluminum and they're on both sides which I would prefer since I would make them a little more durable I feel just having a bracket on one side is gonna make that kind of Have a potential to get bent, or so I might make a I might make a little piece for the back of these at some point. But other than that, it's pretty much the same thing. These are now metal instead of aluminum, and they're only putting it on one side. But they're still still pretty sturdy fan. All right, some more brackets. Uh, looks like the same thing. Put one on each side, one of the tall ones, and then like on the last fan I just slip a zip tie through these holes and make a loop, and then loop it onto my adjusting rod which goes across the top of the slot windows. Let's give it a test. Interesting to see how the automatic temperature control works or how you adjust that. It just has the 10 30 minutes, one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, which is probably what I'll stick with. I like that. I like that I could just boop, boop, 
do a couple hours, go to bed and know that that's not going to freeze me out when the it's cold overnight. It's still, even during the summer here in the Pacific Northwest, during uh, early morning hours, it gets kind of chilly. So you want this, you want your fans off and uh, not wasting power either. Got some more uh, wire protection on here. Which is nice if you ever need to go through a door or through a window where it's going to get shut or something closed down on top of it. Looks like we got a three wire fan actually here now that I'm noticing. Unlike the last fans which are just a positive and negative wire, you seem to actually have a bit of a speed controller function to them. I assume anyway that's what that's for. It's a sense wire I believe to um, read RPMs of the fans. I'm on generator power so I can use this guy. Give this a quick test. And uh, over, give a quick test. Quick test here. Here it comes out this way. Oh yeah, just like the last ones. These these have a are almost completely silent. Got a nice gentle breeze to them, and I don't think they're turned up all the way. Oh, there we go. I love that. Okay, that's I'm a huge fan of this new controller. I really like this that I could just right away change the fan speed and just let it do its thing. Um, and then I assume I hit a timer button. So timer. And then boom, we can set it for an hour. Okay, so that, turn up the speed. Set to an hour. Very cool, I like this. An auto. I guess it's kind of like a standby function until this thermometer gets warm. Put this in my hand and just see what happens here. Wow, look at that right away. That is freaking neat. Oh, look, there it goes, turning off. And that works a whole lot better than the uh, last one, which was supposed to do something similar to that for the refrigerator cooler. All right, so to get these fans to stay in the window, I just use two of these taller brackets on the sides, facing upward. And then I just zip tie those to that adjusting bar there. So let's put that in real quick and show ya. Got two clips for the screen. Flips. Pull down on that. Let's see, just put that so that just goes nicely right 
there. Let's put this toward the back so I can stay cool while I'm doing work on my PC here. these smaller zip ties here. Slip through these holes. And you can whip those around. Getting in there pretty good. It is got the wire rerouted coming out here up and just zip tied the controller right here to the project cams arm project cam arm what do you want to call this thing and then I got that just temporarily connected in with the uh, video amplifier for the gaming setup since that was just an easy place to get power from later on I'm going to have a switch panel with accessory power coming from here that I can attach it to but that should work for now figure that was a good enough place for the controller easy to get to and I don't know why not oh and that's so nice having that right here at the computer it's not too hot out yet but uh, during summer I'm going to love this thing Thanks for watching. Check them out. Links below. Have a good day. And then a little bonus for the end of this video. They sent me a couple gifts. I thought I'd... Uh which is really nice, thank you. Thought I'd share that with you guys as well. They're just a, a 
Pyramid Phone Cooler. If any of you play around on watching Netflix all day, or, um, but uh, let's open this up, see what it's like. While I'm uh, burning up my phone on Amazon Prime, I might need to go ahead and start using one of these. Alright, so there it is, just a little fan, takes a USB, keeps your phone cool while you're watching movies. Hmm, it's weird, it's sticky. How are you supposed to do this? Oh, okay. So it just sits like that. You rest your phone on it. Hmm. Although if I'm watching movies, it'll probably be something more like this. Over to it. Grab it. There we go. That'll be nice to have when I'm up here eating my lunch and wanting to watch some a uh, bit of television. So a little bit of a dual purpose there. You could prop up your phone so you can see it and uh, keep the back of it. USB here on the side. Right, so just plug this in the USB. Huh, there we go. A little fan there. something to keep your phone cool while you're watching videos. Has a good little bit of air movement to it too. Not a huge amount. Obviously that's a little fan. Doesn't take up too much power, which is good. Yeah, you can definitely feel it blowing right along the sides of this. That actually works really well. Cool. All right, a couple cool products. Go check them out. Links are down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.